I'm gonna make a video showing you guys how to modify a chain driven transfer case for uh, twin sticks. What I'll be using are front range off road twin stick. It's my first time doing this modification, but I will try to show you guys the best as possible because I couldn't really find enough info online. Hopefully this clears things up for a lot of people. These are the twin sticks from Front Range Off-Road. Pretty nice design. All billet. Breather or bent. First thing you're going to want to do is of course, drain the oil. And then remove this nut to remove the rear flange. You might have to tap it out a little bit to get it free. Next you're going to want to take off the shifter. And they're loosen up all the bolts all the way around the case. Next you're going to want to remove this cover here. There's a snap ring here that you have to take off, holds the bearing in. You have to take it off in order to be able to split the cases. Once you take that snap ring off, you can work your way around it with uh, I got this little scraper here. Or you can just use a flat, flat blade screwdriver and work your way around it slowly. Make sure not to damage the case too much and then you should be able to split it in half. So it looked like it was catching here when I was trying to split them apart the rest of the way and then I remember that uh, these uh, there's a spring and a ball in there for the detent on the shifter forks that you might have to remove. I'm about to remove them see if that helps. So that's the little ball and the two spring detents that hold the the shift forks in place. Here it is with the cover off. Gonna have to get this shift fork out because we have to uh, grind off or cut off this little nub here on the shift fork that uh, interlocks the two together. And there is also a little stainless steel pill, they call, that we have to remove. remove. And they say it's in between the two shift forks and usually it'll fall off when you pull the back half of the case off. And for the longest time I kept looking everywhere and I could not find it. And it finally, finally realized that maybe they didn't fall out like it does to uh, many people and it's actually still there in between the cases so I decided to check with the little magnet in there and there it is so you have to split the case in order to remove this pill and do that other modification So I tried looking at the how to remove the shift fork and after looking at it, it seemed like a whole lot more trouble than what it was worth. So what I ended up doing was uh, I just shoved a couple shop rags in there and stuffed all the holes, tried to cover them up as good as possible. And then I just took the took a Dremel with the little cutoff wheel and cut off the little knot. Uh, no, that was uh, that interlocks the two pieces together. That way, they should be able to slide straight across, uh, parallel to each other without binding up. So this should conclude all the the two modifications you have to do to the case. Now it's just a matter of uh, scraping up all the old RTV and sealing it back up. After that's cut off, you just go back and clean all your surfaces. Try to get as much of the old RTV off as possible from both halves. And then 
get him ready to lay down this small bead a new fresh RTV and start with the reassembly okay got both halves sealed back up I cleaned up the RTV some and then don't forget to put your snap ring back back in place then reseal this Remember to put your little detent ball back in and then your spring with the cap. Same thing on the other side. And then replace your drive shaft yoke and restake it. So that's with the stock shift knobs that come from Front Range Off-Road, but I bought these from a Advanced Adapters, there's a part number there, which are much nicer, they're aluminum. Okay, so unfortunately, uh, this is the way the levers work with this transfer case, because these are meant to be used on a Land Cruiser. Um, Fortunately, these would have to be upside down, which doesn't really matter other than the low range L is upside down, but everything else is fine You got your tune your four-wheel drive And just to verify your operation We're in two-wheel drive high range Just make sure everything works You can shift down to four wheel drive. So this would be four wheel drive, high range. And then you can try low range. That's neutral, and that's low. Yep. It's low range. You can shift this back to two wheel drive and get two wheel drive low. And that's two wheel drive only.